<laughs> hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Oh man, my name is Ian and I am that sober gamer. We're gonna bring you the next part of good old Death Stranding Director's Cut on the PlayStation 5. Woo wee! Let's get in and I, I, I got nothing extra, to, nothing extra to say here. Let's just go and hop on in. Let's go complete some deliveries, huh? Oh, you look good, Sam Porter. You look delicious. All right, so yesterday when I was playing this, well, I guess technically last night when I was playing, I wasn't sure if I was actually connected online or not, so I want to see. Like right here. Like what's up with the online aspect of this game right now? We'll, we'll have a better look at that in a minute. Sam, this is Die Hartman. Your current objective is to extend the Chiral network from here to Portland City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need. All right, then let's have a quick gander. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Okay. I didn't think I was going to have anything, but I wanted to have a look anyway, you know. Take on orders, baby. Go ahead and listen to the briefing. The last void out in Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress. So much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. Cool, cool. And I just looked it up online. People are saying on Reddit that uh, if the login is blacked out like that, it means you're already online. It only becomes selectable to log in once you're logged in. You're so I'm good. I'm good. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Oh, I don't need to review them. God, who do you think I am? Blah. But just in case, let's have a gander. Maybe. What I'm seeing there is there's going to be uh, steep hills, a cliff, a river it looks like, and BTs. Well now. supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. I mean, I pretty much know what I'm doing, so... Like, I, I have a lot of ladders. I have four ladders? What? I mean, sure, I'll take four ladders, why not? Cool. Order assigned. Let's head out. Have a pleasant journey. Oh my god, you guys, the frame rate is so good. Damn, I got a pee. Uh, I, I know this way is not the way to the destination. This is going back to the uh, triangle building. 
But, as you all know, I have absolutely played this game before. So I want to see if I can get an item over here this early on in the game. Or if I have to wait. If you're curious about what I'm talking about, way over here, I believe it's up here. Yeah, it's not showing up. I think it's over here? Yeah, I'm not seeing it pop up, but uh, a memory fragment is up here. I guess I have to wait until I get the uh, email, because you'll get a bunch of emails randomly from people saying, Hey, I was out at this location doing this and that or the other, and I saw something weird on top of a building. I saw something weird over there. Something, something. So whenever you go to those places and check it out once you get that email, that's what they're talking about is the memory fragments, but I guess I can't get it yet. Look at that up there. It almost looks like there's a giant BT over there, doesn't it? That's cool. Oh, I love the frame rate. Oh my god. And it looks so damn good. And I'm on performance mode. This isn't even... believe it I'm going to be uh, leaving my own signs everywhere yeah so the BTs are right over here in this area right there so if I were to actually go up like this way use the uh, rope and whatnot then that's better See if I can remember how to lay down a sign. Boom. Mama, you're my favorite. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need, and they're counting on you to deliver. Not to worry, there, Die Hardman. I'm going to do my best not to upset you. I'm still trying to decide if I want to include every last bit of the game. Oh god. Or if I want to uh, do video editing. Probably gonna end up having everything in the game. Which is kind of how I like to do Let's Plays. It's how I like to watch them too. I don't like seeing stuff, too much stuff cut out. But if y'all think I should go the route of doing a little bit of editing and cutting out a lot of nonsense, then I might try it. It also has to do with the amount of time that I got, because I do have a full-time job in the military, so, you know, it's hard for me to do stuff like that and still try to get enough videos out. Oh, it's a little dragonfly! Cute! 
Thanks for the help. Man, Nikki Cinnamon give you everything. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Thank you, Mama. Let's go ahead and deliver us some lost cargo, huh? God, the updated visuals are great. Which way do I want to go to get over there? I want to go the way of the BTs and try to sneak around them? Let my cargo take all kinds of damage? Or do I want to possibly go over the mountains up here? Do I have any anchors? I have one anchor. And I got these gnats flying around me right now. They irritating the hell out of me. All these people up here having the same idea I did. Just go straight up the mountain. But I don't know how many of these people are actual other players yet, or there's just still like tutorial stuff. Sam, if you come up against a sheer clear forest steep slope, don't forget about the ladder we issued. Be sure to try it out. I'd be interested to see what use as a seasoned pro like you might find for. I'm gonna find a lot. Because I'm absolutely right, I am a seasoned pro. I have a stupid amount of hours logged in this game. Which way is it? Over there. Okay, I got you. I am playing this on very hard mode, so I don't know how fast your cargo deteriorates in very hard mode. I don't have any repair spray yet. So I am trying to go through this relatively quick. Quicker than I should. sign is this? More from Nick Easton, baby. Alright, so let's go over here. Make another sign. What a perfect sign to lay down right there. That's not going to make it all the way down, is it? Oh, please go all the way down. Look at that. That, my friends, is how you do it. Away from the BTs entirely. Man, F a BT. <laughs> Beautiful.
right, where am I going to be placing this rope down at? Not rope, a ladder. Probably right here. We'll pick up these right here. Oh, it's a heavy one. Oh, Jesus. Hell yeah, it is my word. Hmm. You know what that means? Auto arrange it, baby. You always want to auto arrange your stuff. Oh, the adaptive triggers. When you're carrying a ton, you can like actually feel it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is cool. Go ahead and right there. That is so cool how that feels. You're okay, Sam. We're almost there, my dude. Oh, now all the way across, baby. There it is. Matter, Sam, you getting a little tired? Man, I am hungry. Don't you love it when you sit down to do a recording and it's like, cool, I'm going to do a few hours here. And then immediately it's like, oh no, you're hungry. Bunch of drug addicts. How'd we do? Perfect. Beautiful.
And there it is. Post box. Connection to Capital Not City confirmed. It's really happening. What? Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Not City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Fort Not City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. You got it. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. The first thing's first. Oh. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. First things first, make delivery of the lost cargo because this crap be heavy, yo. Prominent porter. People think of you as a porter who can re be relied upon for basic orders. For the time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. All right, cool. Let me have a look at the fabricate equipment really quick. I mean, anchor and the PCC, baby. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box. I do believe with this order, they give me a PCC to make it. Which is going to be this guy right here, so let's do it. Sam, if you're in the middle of a run and decide you need to secure your cargo temporarily or entrust it to another porter, you'll want to make use of a post box. In addition to cargo, post boxes can also be used to share gear and weapons, if you're so inclined. Now, I'm sure you've used them before, but... Humor me and build one. Maybe between Capital Knot and that way station. If you're lacking a PCC, I'm afraid you'll just have to scrounge it up yourself. Or maybe they won't give me one. Thought they did. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Sure thing. Order assigned. Sam, assuming you've got your PCC in order, head to the site I designated and build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. What do you mean by assuming? Don't you dare assume with me. I do things the right way the first time every time, okay? The heck was that noise?
You best believe it. On the way, we gonna be picking up everything. Try not to. Sam, I see you've arrived at the designated site. It's no big deal or anything. It's yeah. I'll leave something in it. It ain't gonna be a ladder, but I'll leave something in there. Let's, let's get the resin in there, at least. Thought I picked up other stuff. Giver of gifts. Cool. Now we just head back. Get me out of this here time fall. I don't need it. God, you're having a hard time there, buddy? Jeez. Uh, starting to see other people's stuff. Yeah, <laughs> starting to see other people's crap. Oh, I love it. Oh boy, stop, stop, stop. All right. Oh, it's a memory chip up there. How far away is it? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up literally all of your guys' stuff. I'm cool like that. Come grab this here memory chip and go turn it all in. Then we'll head to our next destination of, uh, the Distro Center. Come on, Sam, get up there. There you go. thing.
I'm so glad you're here. Gotta say, you truly are incredible. Aww. You... I bet you say that to all the porters. Awesome. All right then. Good work. New order available. All right, what order do we got? This guy here. Yep. You'll be delivering supplies for a Cairo printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize chiral network data to reproduce all kinds of things. And you can imagine how handy that might be. Now, I know I don't need to tell you, but steer clear of any BTs you find out there. A void out's the last thing we need. Sam, it's Hartman. Void outs occur when the living of our world come into contact with beached things. The reaction is similar to what a physicist would call an annihilation when a subatomic particle collides with its antiparticle. Alas, there ends our understanding. Why do the dead transform into BTs? Why are void outs only triggered by human contact? And why are people like you able to return seemingly unscathed? No one knows. Yet it cannot be a coincidence that these phenomena were observed only after we discovered the beach and bridged this world and the next. Anyway, to reiterate, the only reliable means by which you can prevent a void out is to stay far, far away from BTs. I mean, he's not wrong. So this guy here, it looks like we're going to have BT, River, and that skull icon there. Who could that skull icon be? I know who it is, but I'm not going to say. Let me just say they're assholes. All I'm going to give you is they're a bunch of assholes. We have two. One more of you. I'll take two of you. a bit much but you know what? we're gonna go for it what's the saying go nothing ventured nothing gained if I could come down here to the watchtower try to pick out a route I am on the lookout right now for the newer changes that have been added here in the director's cut. We'll have a look. So right over here. Yeah, you see those dudes right there walking around? They're called mules. And they're assholes. Oh, uh, it's almost like he was placed right there to like wait for me. Crap. I'm gonna have to run like through there. Both him stationed right there. He's gonna see my ass. I don't know how much harder they're gonna be on this difficulty setting. Cause they are assholes. There ain't no joke about it. They are a bunch of dicks.
Uh, how do I change? Oh, change page. There we go. I can't very well run from bad guys when I have to piss so bad. Let, let, let's go and take care of some business. Oh my god, you guys. I can feel this in the adaptive trigger. <laughs> Unnecessary attention to detail, but I'm not mad at it. There's a big boy right there. Look at that mushroom. Alright, so I need to get around these guys here. You see these right there sticking out of the ground? As soon as I walk into that, those mules are going to be notified of me. Run. Heads up, Sam. Yeah. Your cargo's been pinged. Yeah, I know. Move. Now, or someone has eyes on you. Get to your yeah. destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. My heart is actually going right now. How close are they? God dang mules. Let's see. What should I put? Don't give up, baby. I do believe there's BTs up in this area. Gotta give me my stamina back right there. That's no longer monster energy. I love that. It's no longer monster energy. It's hilarious. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up. Let's have a look at this. Oh god. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. What can I get? What is this? I don't really need it. Where's it going to? Yeah, I don't care. I'm slightly surprised there's something in there, though. Uh, where are these BTs at?
That building right over there is where we're going. There they are. Oh, whoa, whoa, slumped. Oh, so A, A now. You want to be on this side so that you can see your Audra deck. Alright, time to see just how hard this really is. Whenever I go through BT territory, I'm always crouching. Just kind of what I do. I don't see him yet. My cargo and equipment is getting annihilated right now. <laughs> As if people don't know that you need to be cautious right here. Oh god. Alright. Crap. Oh my god! Are you joking? Oh my word! Golly, man. My container's all damaged and everything, too. Uh, let's get to crouching. Oh my god, dude.
as you don't drop it, the contents shouldn't sustain any damage. And if the cargo itself is okay, then your eval won't be affected. Just take a little extra care from here on out, and you'll be fine. Good luck. Wow, stuff gets ruined super quick on this difficulty. God, my nerves. Something wrong, Sam? Oh no, kid doesn't look so hot. are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Are you joking me right now? I think I'm out of the water. Golly. All of that was way more stressful than it needed to be. stressful than it needed to be. Holy crap. How bad was my stuff damaged? Oh, the cargo didn't get damaged at all. A container certainly did, that's for damn sure. That was nerve wracking. Almost three stars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it coming. Thank you. 
Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. New interview data acquired. Mules and drone syndrome, bridge babies, and timefall. Mail and data. And recycling. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BP to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Very nice. Go to the private room, huh? Dead man, you there? Little help? Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. In. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long. Which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam.
Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. for you. Also, your research. I'll do it in a minute. Calm down. Hold on. Let's see here. Can I get that uh, thing I was talking about in the last episode? Come on, Kojima. Pop up. Pop up, man. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Back on the BB. How you feeling, my guy? Doing all right? Feeling okay? Yeah. You okay? God damned adorable. All right, so... Go take care of the business first before I do that. Now I'll take a shower. Fluids, 
take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you, and I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Sure thing. I'm going to get it eventually, I promise. All right. Go look at the terminal. Manual tips. Oh, God. Must get rid of all the exclamation points. My ADHD must get rid of it all. Memory chips, that's right. I haven't turned it in yet though, so I can't see what it is. Interviews, mules and drone syndrome. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna actually read. But we'll read the yellow. All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them, and that brought on a whole new disorder. Delivery Dependence Syndrome, they called it. Also known as the stupidest ID in video games, but hey, it's Kojima, so we let it slide. Bridge babies! They call me Dead Man on account of my familiarity with the dead. Get it? <laughs> we we get it. We've always been on good terms, you see. Used to have regular little chats back when I worked on the morgue. Don't know who he's talking about, but whatever. Time fall. That the Death Stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. It wouldn't surprise me. So mail now. Sorry, Sam. Bad news from Benjamin Hancock. Thanks for delivering those rare metals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. I'm afraid I've got bad news, though. That bike you saw outside? Its battery's dead. You'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Sorry if we got your hopes up, and, uh... I've got more bad news for you too. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so everyone gets what they need. And to make sure that everything that produced gets gets put to the proper use, that's why we call that's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. 
whole world even. Anyway, there's this guy, George Patton, over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth, getting him to make the very simplest of deliveries. Keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. But when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're a bit short on materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help out with the... Uh, help. Oh my god, I can't read. This is why I don't read very much. I'm sure you'll soon help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. Yeah, then George Baton. Sam the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up, but three years of isolation and loneliness all cha will change anyone's tune. Hell, when, the first, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot, but after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself, that was it, Merrick's done. Everyone was feeling it too, and the mood was just bleak. And that's... And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking. At first I thought it was just the oxytocin too, but that's not all. Not all of it, anyhow. You gave us the glimmer of hope we needed by bringing us into the chiral network. We're back in the game now. We've been thinking of putting a sign up again even. Watchtowers too. Before long we'll be opening a new delivery route, mark my words. It's still scary out there though. All the oxy in the world wouldn't help us deal with the mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one, and end up dropping half our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still worried that we won't be able to keep it up, and that's why we need you, Sam. We're not scared of anything, right? So so go show us how it's done. Oh, I'm going to do my best to read at least like one or two every now and again. We'll see how long I can keep that, keep that up, how long I can sustain that. <laughs> Wait. Like I said, all you really need is three of them. You don't need to drink all of them. But I guess I'm going to just because. But you don't need to. All right, and this is where I'm going to call the episode right here. We're about an hour in, a little little past. So I'm going to try to keep the episodes roughly around an hour, give or take. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I got to say, this difficulty is going to be one hell of a challenge. Like, yeah, this difficulty is going to be a challenge. The BTs, they seem to be much tightly compact together. And just, it's going to be interesting. That's for, that's for dang sure. But... If you guys liked the video, then please hit the like button down below. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. But until next time, I hope every one of you guys out there has a wonderful day.